the skin is skinning. It's plump. It is happy. It is vibrant. It does give you a glow, but not as much glow as the Tula one does. Hey lovies, happy new year. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you guys had a great new year. It is the second today. And I just thought, why not just start the year with a great skincare, a morning skincare routine. So let's get right into it. So first things first, what I do is I go in with my Tula Skincare, the Call Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. I use this very often. This is my travel size one. So <laughs> I just wanted to finish this up. Um, I have a bigger version that I use but this one is tried and true for me i like to use something very simple very i guess basic that's not going to harm my skin i think with cleanser for me i don't like to go too harsh because i don't have pimples like that so i don't like to do anything with like silicic acid or too much of it i don't like to go in with a lot of acids when it comes to cleanser but i've cleansed my face with this so we're just gonna get into the rest of the steps right now so the next step i've been going into for this winter honestly let's be honest i love i need to hurry up because my skin is getting dry and it's winter for winter time i love to have hydration all well all year round i love hydration but in the winter especially because i'm combination skin in the winter i get very very dry my skin gets so dry like right now you can see it's dead okay it's currently <laughs> it needs some life it needs some hydration and it needs the living water from the lord jesus so i like to go in with a lot of hydration so i'm gonna go in now with the double serum hydra Hydric and Lipidic System Light Texture from Clarins. I've been using this. I actually absolutely love it. Um, I guess I haven't really seen much of a result, but I do see the hydration. So let's just get into it, okay? All I do is just kind of warm it up in, my, in the palm of my hands and just push it into my skin, not really rubbing. And as you can see, it's bringing more life to my skin. Okay, so that was step one. That was a lot, like I just did that so badly. <laughs> step two, I'm now going to go in with my normal skincare routine. So this is more of a serum that I start off with, but I usually like to go in with the discoloration correcting serum because I like for that to absorb into my skin before I do anything else. But I've been adding that Clarins and you're supposed to put that into your skin before you add any other products. And I'm talking right now because I do want the products to really get into and penetrate into my skin layers before I add anything else, which is usually what I do. So I'll be on TikTok, you know, just watching TikToks as I'm doing my skincare so everything can really like penetrate into my skin. So I'm just going to go in now with the discoloration serum. And then just kind of rub that in a little bit, right? Just going to press that into the skin. Just like that. I never like to rub products into my skin and don't forget your neck area. I'm really just pressing into the skin layers. All right, so the next thing, I quite literally do a lot, okay, for my skincare, but you know, I have hyperpigmentation and I have a combination skin, but I like hydration. I love to have hydration in my skincare. I love to be hydrated and be dewy and glowy and you know, glazed donutty. That's what I like. That's what I love to do. So now I have been also using my snail mucin from Cosrx, but I have been using my snail mucin from Cosrx, but because it is hydrated, it, it does give hydration to your skin. Um, I've been using this, but I think since I've been using the Clarins, I have not been using that. But if I didn't use the Clarins, this would be my first step. Here we go. 
Okay. So I don't, mm, I could do it right now. I could, I could do it right now. Let's just do it. I'm just going to add a little bit after that um, discoloration serum. And there we go. As you can see, we are getting hydrated. We are getting dewy, honey. Y'all see that hydration? Do you see? Huh? Yeah, she's getting cute again. We're not dry. No dry winter over here. Hello? All right, so the next thing I will now go into would be my hyaluronic acid serum from Good Molecules. Yo, there we go. And again, I'm just going to press into my skin just like that. And do y'all see? I am not rubbing. No rubbing. Just pressing in. And I'm letting everything come down to the neck. And you pull up like that. And yeah, so I'm just going to let everything sink into my skin. I literally feel my skin barriers, the layers just grabbing onto those ingredients and those uh, products right now. I literally feel it. And I don't want it to get too tacky as it's drying down, especially with the hyaluronic acid. So I'm going to let that sit in for like the next 10 seconds. And while I do that, I'm going to show you the next thing is the Daily Brightening Serum, also from Good Molecules. I've been using a lot of Good Molecules products and it's been working very very well for me it's been very effective so i'm sticking to it um this is the daily brightening serum because i do have hyperpigmentation if i can say the word correctly hyperpigmentation um so i wanted to make sure that i'm taking care of that i haven't been taking care of it as much as i wanted to recently because i stopped using my vitamin c about like three months ago and i forgot to re-up on it so we're back on it it's getting there. I have hyperpigmentation and hypopigmentation. So I have like lighter spots on my skin that makes it seem like I have freckles. I don't have freckles. It's just hypopigmentation. I'm trying to go as easy and as slow as possible so this is more of a rejuvenating and slow process and just very peaceful so when you're doing your morning routine it's just more of a slow process just to come back to you and just to take care of your skin take care of your mind and just don't rush through it I like not to rush through my skincare routine because then I forget stuff where I don't add stuff and then when I don't rush through it I'm able to just calm my nerves calm myself maybe watch some TikToks as I'm doing it and yeah so as you guys can see from the beginning till now there's a lot more hydration on my face we're looking a little bit more alive we don't look dead and crusty anymore I don't look like a soggy agigi bread any longer okay we look Dewy, fresh, and plump. Okay, so what? That's been like one, two, three, four products? Okay. No, five products. Yikes. Ha ha ha. I do a lot, okay? I do a lot to make sure that I get hydration into my skin. So the next thing I'm going to go to through. Also, I like to make sure that I do all serums first. So serums, gels first, and then I go in with any cream or oil. So oil is always last for me. It should be, I think, standard. The standard is oil is last and the cream comes after serums or any gels. So the next thing I'm going to go into is another tried and true products for me. The Peach and Lily <laughs> Glass Skin Refining Serum. The Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. This is the translucent and luminous. All I do And 
then, oh, I just love this Peach and Lily glass serum, honestly. Just because of like the dewiness it does give and it actually looks like glass skin as you put it on. So as you can see, my skin is looking more alive. Do we love it? Do we love dewy dewy, okay? Do we love the dewy? I love the dewy. Um, literally, look at that. You see, you see the moisture, okay? There's no denying the moisture that is on my skin right now. Like, it's amazing. We need to get our eyebrows done, but it's fine, okay? The skin is skinning. It's plump. It is happy. It is vibrant. All right, the next thing I'm going to go in with would be my Clinique Moisture Surge 100-hour auto-replenishing hydrator. And that is what she looks like. We love Clinique. Even though I don't love gel moisturizers, this is actually one of my favorite. Well, the only one I actually like to use, let's be honest. So, yeah, I keep forgetting. I'm also shooting a TikTok. And I'm just going to press that into the skin as well. This I like to just drag through the skin a little bit since all those serums have already been absorbed into my skin. Oh, yes, this feels so relaxing. And just like that, guys, my skin is already looking so juicy okay and i always bring it to the neck but i try not to drag down i try to pull up i forget sometimes but yeah and there we have it we did our moisturizer we did all our serums now i'm gonna go in with uh eye cream this is from herbivore i believe this is their turmeric eye cream and i got it as a I got it as a like sample size, not a sample, yeah, a sample size, like a travel size. So it was like a gift. So I got that. So I'm just going to put that in. Just take a little bit under the eye. With my ring finger, I'm going to pull. Pull towards my temple and pull that up. I like the turmeric one because it's supposed to help with dark spots and puffiness. So I've been using this eye cream. I've actually been look, look, I've actually been looking for a great eye cream, and this has been my favorite lately from Herbivore. So I've been loving it. I have been loving this eye cream. So I think I'm gonna stick to it. But it still doesn't give me. I feel like when I first used it, I saw a difference with the dark under eye. I definitely see a difference with the puffiness, but not the hyperpigmentation underneath my eye, which is something I'm still trying to, you know, get rid of. But that's really just because, like, I need to sleep more and drink more water. That's one of the things that I know I need to do to help combat that hyperpigmentation underneath my eye. Um, yeah. So after we've done our eye, we've done our moisturizer, I like to go in with my vitamin C. It's from Sunday Riley, but it's CEO Glow, and it's a vitamin c and turmeric face oil yes the ceo glow sunday riley vitamin c and turmeric face oil i like to go in with that after my moisturizer because my moisturizer is gel based so again everything is as absorbs into my skin so then i will go in with my oil and i just do just a couple drops Warm it up in my hand, like so. And then I just press into the skin, like so, like that. And again, I'm not rubbing also because this is oil on top of all those gel-based ingredients or products I've already put on my face so if I put oil on top of it and I'm rubbing I'm literally moving the serum so I just I'm patting in so everything can be absorbed together and this is why another reason why I just let everything sit before I start adding any other products on top of it and yeah last step 
the last step is our sunscreen super goop every single face watery lotion i've been loving this one as well i know i've been talking about the tula one i've been using the tula one but this is also another one i love to use especially recently it does give you a glow but not as much glow as the tula one does give that looks like a lot Ooh. And as you can see, there's no white cast. It really just gives a glow and disappears into the skin. You see that? That's another reason why I do like the super goop one. It really just dissolves and it's not too oily to the skin. Ooh. Hydration, baby. We love hydrated skin, and especially in the winter. I get I don't like being dry. I hate it. Um, also, sunscreen is very effective and necessary in the winter. The rays are still raying in the winter. Just because you don't see sun that does not mean the rays are not apparent and visible. Not visible, but like active. The rays are raying. We are in America, baby. Okay. Anyway, so that is our skincare for the morning. I don't know if this video is as chaotic as I feel like it was. Hopefully it didn't translate that way. Um, yeah, so the next thing I'm just going to do is just, you know, a lip oil for my lips. So I'm also hydrated there as well. All right, so I just got the Clarins number one lip comfort oil. This is a lip oil from Clarins. I've been loving her. It actually, it actually moisturizes and it actually feels like a comfort lip oil and it's actually cheaper absolutely cheaper than the dior lip oil and it is actually more effective than the dior lip oil in my opinion and i love to put this over any lipsticks or any like lip gloss i already have it just ooh, it just gives it like a different vibe it's so nice and this one is in the honey i believe yeah this is in honey And just like that, our morning skincare routine is done and I feel hydrated, I feel dewy, I look good, my skin is giving life, is giving vibrancy. And this is what I do all winter long, just making sure I, my face stays very hydrated by adding all these products. Yes, it might seem like a lot, but I also take my time in the morning, I slow down, I take my time, I let everything get penetrated into the skin so it can actually be effective and I'm not just rushing through. Some days I rush, but I try to still let it, you know, sink in. But let me know what you all think down in the comments. Let me know if you've tried any of these products, if they're effective for you, or what other products you're using this year to make sure that your skin stays vibrant and plump and beautiful and bright and glowy. And if you like this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below, and also share with your friends and family. And let's just share the love and let's all have a vibrant skin all year long together. Why not? You know? Anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. Come back for more. I will see you down in the comments and you will see me in the next video or vlog. Bye babes. Bye lovies.